Hi there, gang, and welcome back to the Chef Prepper Project, where our goal is to motivate and help the world to get prepared for the things that are coming one family at a time. So you've been thinking of making a rocket stove part of your outdoor cooking facilities for SHTF event, emergency cooking, or just to have fun. You've been on YouTube, you've seen this design, that design, his design, their design. What's the best design for a do-it-yourself rocket stove? In this video, we're going to look at four different rocket stove designs. Simple, easy to build with materials that most people have available. So stick with me and we will try to figure out the best rocket stove design for you and for us. If you want to see these rocket stoves that we're going to build today, if you want to see them used cooking various things, then hit the subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, you might as well hit the thumbs up and be sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when those videos using these rocket stoves come out. And once you get your rocket stove up and going, or if you've already got one built, I have a video I'm going to link to down in the description for quick, easy meals that you can use or cook on your rocket stove. So check that out. Let's get to it. Let's build some rocket stoves and talk about the designs. And this is the platform where we're going to build our rocket stoves. And if you decide to build a rocket stove, don't build it on the ground like you see in the videos, because then you have to bend over or lay down to be able to cook on it. So put it on a platform if you can. The first stove that we're going to look at is just a basic concrete block design that you see on most of the videos. And this is the first step, the first block. Nothing but a simple concrete or cement or cinder block. The second step or second block from this picture looks like it's simple and easy, but I assure you that it's not. And here's what it is supposed to look like. Something like an H block. Making the block look like this or shape like this for me was very difficult. As you can see in the picture, there's a big crack in it. And so, yes, it did break all the way in two, but I was able to still use it, put it back together. And Here is the uh, concrete block rocket stove. Moving on to the traditional brick or paver rocket stove. Here is the finished brick rocket stove, which is made out of pavers. Moving on to our third rocket stove, which is another brick or paver stove. Only thing is it is quite a bit bigger than the first one or the last one that we just saw. The larger rocket stove made from bricks or pavers. And from here, we move on to our last stove, which will be another concrete block design, but it will be uh, a J-tube design, a little bit different from the first one. And this design required a block modification also, but rather than the end having to come off, the middle had to come out, which again was a difficult thing to accomplish. 
And in the process of making this block, I busted it also. But I was still able to use it. To make sure there wouldn't be any issues with it coming apart, I put, I put this one up against the previous concrete block stove that you see in the picture and I put an additional concrete block on the other side of it to hold, help hold it in place. The finished J-Tube concrete block rocket stove. So which design is best for you? I'm going to show you a few more aspects to each of these stoves to help you make your mind up and later and in later videos I will put all these stoves to a test. Okay, the small brick stove, as you can see in the picture, has a, about a 4 inch by 4 inch opening. As compared to the larger brick or paver stove, which has roughly an 8 inch by 8 inch opening. So what does that mean for us as far as designs go? A small 5 or 6 inch diameter skillet will work well on the small stove. But the smaller stove might not be as efficient if you have to use a larger skillet. A smaller kettle also seems to work well on the smaller stove. The larger kettle would probably work depending upon what it is that's actually in the kettle. If it's just water or water base, it should be fine. The larger stove seems to be better suited for the larger skillets and also for the larger kettles. So, it would seem that the smaller stove would be a good choice if you're cooking for one or two people, but if you're going to cook for larger numbers of people, perhaps the bigger stove is a better choice as far as design goes. Both concrete block designs have the same opening as far as the cooking area, and it comes in a little bit bigger than the smaller paver stove, but not nearly as large of a opening as the larger paver stove. And from these pictures you can see that it would appear that the small skillets will work on the concrete block rocket stoves and also the small kettles will work and so will the larger skillets and the larger kettles perhaps. The problem with the two concrete block designs in my opinion are that they are relatively speaking harder to make than the stoves from the pavers. What I mean by that is it's difficult to, to uh, cut out or knock out the pieces of the blocks that have to be knocked out. Now if you could get pre-made blocks, H blocks or something similar, or you could alter the, the design with more than the number of blocks that I showed you in the video, if you wanted to do that then that would work out pretty well I think. Also it seems to me that the paver or brick stoves are more stable. I also like it that for me I need my rocket stove design that I ultimately choose. It's going to be semi-permanent but I may need to take it down and put it back up a couple of times and I think the concrete blocks are going to be a lot more likely to have issues like breaking. So for now it seems that for us here we are down to two designs to choose from. That's the small and the larger paver or brick rocket stoves. And we may ultimately decide to use both. But we will make that determination in further videos. So be sure that you subscribe, hit the notification button, and the thumbs up so that you can get those future videos. So until we see you again, take care, keep on prepping.